I, George Herbert Walker Bush. He looked like a shoe in for a two term presidency. It would have capped one of the most impressive political resumes in American history. For starters, who could match this campaign moment? George Bush piloted a plane just like this in World War II. He was shot down over the Pacific and, remarkably, was rescued and the rescue was caught on film. His seemed like a charmed life. Bush was son of a senator, a sports star at Yale, and became a millionaire in the oil business. He went to Washington as a congressman, then ambassador to the United Nations, then director of the CIA. You like all this? Don't pick too early, Jason. That's my only advice to you. By the time Bush ran for national office, the one knock on him was, he's dull. I was never as boring as you thought, frankly. He was tapped by the immensely popular Ronald Reagan to be his vice presidential running mate. And that paved the way for his own successful bid for president. He was very popular. This is crack cocaine. Waging a war on drugs at home, helping end the Cold War abroad, and leading a successful war against Iraq. But then there was the economic recession. Read my lips. No new taxes. He had to renege on that promise, and as the economy faltered, Bush, a man of privilege, looked out of touch with ordinary life, such as his amazement at a grocery scanner. Just across, you just cross this, this open place. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past, when I've spoken to you from this office here, the news has always been good, not bad, good. As the economy turned bad, the American public turned on Bush. Instead of one final triumph, Bush fell into the less distinguished category, presidents who failed to win re-election. I salute my predecessor, President Bush. The man who always seemed to land on his feet was knocked flat. Terrible feeling, awful feeling. And I really wanted to win and worked hard. I worked my heart out and it was terrible to adjust. Yet Bush's presidential legacy, it turned out, was not so complete. So help me God. Just eight years after Bush left the White House, his son walked in. As I recall, the conversation went something like this. Welcome, Mr. President. It's good to see you, Mr. President. Bush's oldest son went on to win two presidential terms, one better than his dad. His other son, Jeb, a successful governor, could not pull off a Bush triple play for president. But it was a remarkable run for the family patriarch. George H.W. Bush's ultimate legacy, not a one-term presidency, but a political dynasty that kept the Bush name at the center of presidential politics for more than 35 years. Eric Sorensen, Global News.